gotta live like we're dying. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 American Idol winners you forgot about. Number 10, Trent Harmon, season 15. Season 15 winner Trent Harmon was the last American Idol crowned during the show's initial run. His rendition of Sia's Chandelier won over many fans and is listed among many of the show's greatest moments. However, it being the show's last hurrah, coupled with his victory over fan favorite La Portia Renee, may have put a damper on his postseason outlook. Harmon's debut album made an appearance on the country charts, but he's yet to have the major industry success the crowning title American Idol would suggest. Number 9. David Cook, Season 7 American Idol's seventh season was the famous Battle of the Davids. When the winner was finally announced after much anticipation, some definitely took it harder than others. Rock singer-songwriter David Cook benefited greatly from the show's seventh season rule change that contestants could play their own instruments on stage. But many fans felt that velvet-voiced runner-up David Archuleta should have bagged the win over him. Despite not having a traditionally successful music career, Cook is still making music, still makes regular appearances on the indie charts and has even appeared in Kinky Boots on Broadway. Number 8. Caleb Johnson, Season 13 Many fans probably saw long-haired rocker Caleb Johnson and thought rock was back. Caleb Johnson! Johnson's road to the win wasn't without its bumps. He got into some hot water during the season for using an ableist slur in reference to social media users, which he very quickly apologized for. As the winner of American Idol's 13th season, Johnson broke a series record. His debut album as the season champion sold less than any other American Idol before him. Talk about unlucky number 13. Johnson's career since his time on the show seems to be a reflection of just how hard the music business is to break into. Number 7. Nick Fratiani. Season 14. Before Idol, Nick Fratiani found some minor success on America's Got Talent as the frontman for the band Beach Avenue. Once he became a solo act, he auditioned for and won season 14 of American Idol. But even then, the show's popularity and influence was fading. Although his coronation track, Beautiful Life, did enter the Billboard Hot 100, his album, Hurricane, only sold about 5,000 units continuing the downward trend of post-win success. As of 2023, he's an understudy for A Beautiful Noise, the Broadway musical based on the life of Neil Diamond, and is still making music on his own. Number 6. Lee DeWise, Season 9 After his audition in Chicago, the judges and fans noted DeWise's strong voice. No sunshine on she's Notoriously brutal judge Simon Cowell was one of his biggest supporters. Viewers watched as the wide-eyed Lee grew into his stage presence and eventually won out over runner-up Crystal Bowersox. DeWise's post-season 9 career hasn't been as memorable, but it's certainly nothing to sniff at. His post-idol release, titled Live It Up, managed to peak at number 19 on the US Billboard Hot 200, and it stayed on the list for 10 consecutive weeks. Number 5. Matty Poppy, Season 16 American Idol had a lot to prove in its new incarnation. Maddie Poppy was the first crowned winner of the ABC revival of the series. Her impressive skill with several instruments, including the ukulele, and her distinctive dreamy voice made her an early standout. Poppy's emotional performance of God Only Knows at the final five may just be one of the shining moments of the whole franchise. While some of Poppy's songs did chart after her win, Fellow Season 16 contestant and third-place finisher Gabby Barrett has since eclipsed her in terms of chart performance. Number 4. Chris Allen, Season 8 While Adam Lambert had some post-idol success, he actually did not win his season. That distinction belongs to Arkansas native Chris Allen. His Season 8 win was so controversial at the time that complaints about vote tampering had to be refuted by both Fox and AT&T. While no one can deny his smooth vocals and charm, many viewers had trouble believing Allen was more deserving than the versatile runner-up. Still, Allen's soulful voice and kindness made him a likable enough winner. He has since used his platform for good, balancing his music career with philanthropic work all over the world. Number 3. Taylor Hicks, Season 5 We're about to make you feel old because he won Season 5 almost two decades ago. American Idol viewers fell in love with Hicks's boisterous performance style and exuberance. This is what we dream about. 
The harsh reality of the music industry hit when he was dropped from his label after his first album. Although record sales would far exceed some future winners, his immediate post-show career would mark the first time an Idol winner would underperform. His career led him to take a residency at Bali's Las Vegas in 2012, and through the years, he's continued to make the rounds on TV and on stage. Number 2. Candice Glover, Season 12 in between the Nicki Minaj and Mariah Carey deathmatch that was season 12, Candace Glover clinched the win over runner-up Cree Harrison. No one was really surprised by Glover's triumph. Her renditions of Love Song and I, Who Have Nothing, made believers out of millions. A star was being born on stage every week. So what happened? Her first and only album to date, Music Speaks, was pushed back almost a year after her season ended. While the album received fairly positive reviews, the delay probably cost her more than a few new fans, and it also didn't help that the show was already on the decline. Considering her immense talents, she's one of Idol's most underserved winners. Number 1. Ruben Studdard, Season 2 Unlike many of the winners on this list, Stuttered had the great fortune to win while the show was at its height. Hype was so big that it really seemed no matter who won between Stuttered and eventual runner-up Clay Aiken, they would be destined for the big time. For the first couple of years, that seemed true. Stuttered's debut album, Soulful, charted at number one and was ordered over a million times before the physical copy even hit stores. Since Idol, though, Stuttered's career has been consistent, but it never reached the heights of some of his fellow early winners. When it comes to pop chart success, success, this artist certainly deserved better. Sorry for 